Hey everybody, I'm Braden from EG4 Electronics and today I wanted to talk to you about the new firmware update for the EG4 6000 and 6500EX. So on this new firmware version, there is actually a setting that will replace the stationary and mobile firmwares that will enable the neutral ground bond or disable the neutral ground bond as well as short the neutrals. So uh, this firmware for the 6000EX is on 63.24 and beyond, and on the 6500 is 79.71 and beyond. So to give you a little demonstration here, I'm going to first show that uh, we do have the screw in on this unit. Let's see here. So we got neutral in our ground right here, and you can see that there's continuity there. So again, on these terminals from left to right, you have ground, line one, line two, and the neutral, and then that's repeated on both of these blocks of four. So let's go ahead and turn the unit on. It's got its countdown sequence. And by default, on both inverters, this setting will default to disabled, which disables the bypass. So that means if it's in disabled mode that you will have your neutral ground bond if you have the screw in the unit. So if you have the stationary firmware, you want to set it to enabled. So first, we have it on disabled. Let's see what that looks like. From neutral to ground. There we have our continuity. And then from neutral to neutral, while it's in off-grid mode, it's open. Let's go ahead and change the setting. On the 6000 EX, it is setting 34, and on the 6500, I believe it is 42. So let's go ahead and set that to enable and back out. Now this setting does require a power cycle, so you'll need to turn the unit off and let it fully shut down and then turn it back on to actually get the uh, setting to save. While this is shutting down, uh, a key note to remember is that if you use this new firmware on your unit uh, while you're in a stationary setting, you do need to go in and set this to enabled because it does default to disabled, which is effectively has that ground neutral bond. Alrighty, we're able to turn the unit back on now and it will save that enable the bypass on setting 34. Once we've got that, let's go ahead and throw our meter back up here. Check from neutral to ground. Let's see, from neutral to ground, we got about a mega ohm and a half effectively open. Um, that's such a high resistance current that uh, it effectively is open. And then let's check our neutral to neutral. And now we have continuity there. So the neutrals are always going to be shorted. That means if you have your ground neutral bond in a panel ahead of the unit, uh, say uh, from coming from your grid source or service panel, you're going to have that neutral ground neutral bond always in effect. So it's important to note as well, if you're going to test continuity, that you do not test while under loads. In fact, it's a very safe bet to go ahead and put your inverter in standby. You don't want to blow your multimeter. Um, but that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Braden from EG4 Electronics, and we'll see you next time.